welcome to Investigation 6. This is about performing probability experiments. Now, we learned what probability is in a previous lesson, and that we write probability as a fraction. It is the chance or the likelihood of an event occurring or something happening. So probabilities are always written as a fraction because it's between the numbers 0 and 1. So it's always going to be less than 1, unless, of course, uh, an event is for certain going to happen. So whenever we use probability, most of the time it happens, or we use it when rolling a dice or spinning a spinner. At least those are the examples you'll see in your book very often. Now, whenever we roll a dice, or as our book calls it, a standard dot cube, that's just like a normal dice with six sides and one of each number, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, I have the same likelihood or the same probability of rolling every single number because there's only one number on each side of the cube, one of each number. I have the number one only on one side, two, three, four, five, and six. Therefore, my probability of rolling each number separately is one out of six because I have six possible numbers to roll six possible outcomes and there's only one of each number. So the first question we're going to look over in this investigation six, which I want you to have the answers written down for all of these problems because that's what I will be grading your participation on. So what is the probability of rolling a one or a six? So if I'm looking at, if I, what is the likelihood that I could roll either a one or a six? Well, it's two separate numbers. So the possibility or the probability of rolling a 1 or a 6, well, for a 1 is 1 6, and for a 6 is also 1 6. So putting those two together equals 2 6. So the probability of rolling a 1 or a 6 would be 2 6. Now, if I were to reduce that, as some of you do know reducing or remember reducing from fourth grade or have already learned it from me with Math Olympics, um, rolling a, or for two six, they can both be divided by two, and this could actually be reduced to one third. However, I will accept either answer because both are correct. Now, number two, what is the probability of rolling? less than a 5. So not rolling a 5. 5 is not less than 5, but rolling less than that. So what is the probability I could roll 1, 2, 3, or 4? That's four numbers all together. I have six possible outcomes. So the probability of rolling less than a 5 is 4, 6. And if I were to reduce that answer, reduce the probability, I could divide both 4 and 6 by 2 over 2. My answer would be two-thirds. Again, both are correct. You are not required to reduce yet. Um, some of you do know reducing. If you were to get that, that would be correct. If you were to write just four six, I would accept that as well. Now, we're going to look at probability as an opportunity. This is probability, if I were to roll the dice just one time, what would the probability of rolling a one or a six be? But what if I were to roll the dice multiple times? So if I were to roll the dice, 24 times altogether, what would the probability of rolling a 2 be? Now this is how I approach this problem because if I roll the dice one time, this would be my probability of rolling a 1 or a 6. So if I'm rolling it multiple times, I'm going to actually use that fraction of rolling a 2. The probability of rolling a 2 if I roll it once is just 1 sixth. However, I'm rolling it 24 times, so I want to find what 1 sixth of 24 is. So if my probability of rolling a 2 is 1 sixth, I want to find what 1 sixth of 24 is. That means I divide by my denominator because I'm splitting my 24 rolls into six equal parts, and one of those parts will be the probability of rolling the number 2. So 24 divided by 6, I know off the top of my head, is 4. So the probability, or I would end up rolling a 2, how many times? That would be 4 times that I would possibly roll a number, or the number 2. The probability is still 1, 6, but if I were to look for how many times would I roll the number 4, could I possibly roll the number 4? 
that, or number two, I apologize, possibility of me rolling the number two, or actually any other number, would be four times because that is one-sixth of all of the times together. So if I were to roll, again, the dice 24 times, what is, how many times would I roll an even number? So how many times would I roll an even number? Again, I look at it the same way. How many even numbers do I have on the dice? I have two, four, and six, so there's three even numbers all together. That's three out of six, so I'm going to find three-sixths of the 24 times, which is also half. Half of 24, I'll write it out, three-sixths of the 24. So I want to find what half of 24 is. So I want to... The, Number of times I could possibly roll an even number, this is just an ed educated guess, would be 12 times. So I'm not saying I will roll it 12 times an even number, or I will roll the number 2 four times. That's the possibility, it's a good educated guess in math, of how many times I would roll each of those numbers if I rolled 24 times all together. Now, what if I were to roll the dice 60 times all together? We approach this the same way. So how many times would I roll the number 3 if I were to roll a dice 60 times? What's the possibility of how many times I could roll the th a number 3? So the probability of rolling a 3 is 1 6, but I'm rolling it 60 times, so I want 1 6 of 60. Divide by the denominator, 60 divided by 6 is 10. So I would possibly roll the dot, roll the number 3 10 times. Now, how many times would I roll the number 1 or the number 6 if I were to roll the dice again 60 times? Well, rolling the number 1 is 1, 6, and rolling the number 2, or number 6, is also 1, 6. That's my probability. And I want to find what 2, 6 of 60 is, because 2, 6 is my probability of rolling those numbers. As I saw from this answer right here, what's the probability of rolling a 1 or a 6? It's 2, 6. So same thing here. I want to find, though, what 2, 6 of 60 is, because I'm rolling it more than once. I'm rolling it the dice 60 times. 2 6 of 60. Now, two, 1 6 of 60 is 10. So if I want 2 6, I need to double this. So that means I would possibly roll a 1 or a 6 20 times. So that's how I approach problems about probability and performing different experiments when I roll the dice multiple times. How many times could I possibly roll different types of numbers? So use your fraction because probability is always written as a fraction. And if you're rolling the dice multiple times, then you need to do a little bit of extra work of division to be able to figure out how many times would I possibly roll. But again, if I'm just looking for the probability, that's always going to be written as a fraction. Thank you much, very much for listening and for paying attention.